Hey y'all, and welcome to Chaz's Lifestyle. Today, I'm gonna show you how I make this flavorful and delicious baked fish. Stay tuned. All of my ingredients will be listed down below in the description box. I'm just showing you guys um, a little rundown of everything that I have lined up and prepped. So now for my flounder, um, that's what I decided to use this time, but you can use your favorite fish. I'm just going to baste it on both sides with olive oil first before I season it. Um, that way we can ensure our seasoning is sticking really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix my seasonings together so that way it's evenly applied all over the fish. I'm gonna sprinkle on both sides. The reason why I sprinkle on the back side first is because I want a pretty finish on the other side when we're baking it. All right, so as soon as we go ahead and finish seasoning that side, I'm just gonna flip that over and we're gonna quickly season the other side. And also, um, I have my oven preheated on 350, so I have a baking dish. I'm gonna add some butter in for additional flavor, also to keep your fish juicy, okay? We don't want no dry fish, okay, y'all? We not gonna rot like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in that thyme and then put my fish right on top of that. And then I'm gonna drizzle on some lemon juice right on top to give it that pizzazz, okay? And next, we're gonna drizzle on a little bit of olive oil also to help with the flavor and to ensure sure that it stays juicy since we're baking it on 350 which is pretty low you don't have to cover it with foil so make sure your rack is pretty much in the middle I'd like to give a huge thank you to Flavor God, a seasoning company based in LA, California. They sent me a variety of seasonings though. I'm so excited to try and review for you all. I am currently using these two seasonings for this recipe. Their seasonings are plant-based, keto-friendly, zero calories, and guess what? Low sodium. That's a 10 out of 10 and the flavor is bomb. That's a win-win situation. I'll have all their information linked down below when you can purchase your own. Okay, so here is the results after it was done. I baked it for about 25 to 30 minutes. If you decide to recreate this recipe, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chaz's Cuisine Story. Thank you for tuning in to Chaz's Lifestyle. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this a thumbs up. Also, comment down below what you would like to see next.